lovely. Okay. Hello, parents. Thank you for coming to the meeting this evening. Um, I know lots of parents can't make it tonight, unfortunately, but we are recording this. We'll go on our YouTube afterwards. Um, so it's all good. Here we go. And a brief thing from me and then from the PTA, and you can meet your class teacher and find out a bit more about this academic year. I hope you enjoyed the Innovate lunches, a uh, little sample menu down there. It really was an incredible spread. So a quick presentation on West Wickham School, past, present and future. The SLT and I delivered this to the staff on the inset day, but I thought you also might find it interesting. So if we go through the past of our wonderful school, we do need to consider and acknowledge what the school has been through for better and for worse. So five years ago in January 2016, we had the offset inspection of special measures. Now, when I meet new parents, I say that was five years ago. In five years in education terms is a very, very, very long time. A bad school can be good in five years. A good, good, good school can be bad in five years. Five years, it's a long time indeed. But there was that. Had a new head teacher, Abby Preston came in in 2017, a new curriculum, an offset inspection moving to requiring improvement. Then COVID hit. We joined the Great Learners Trust or Academy Trust. Uh, COVID lockdown again, and we've got Mrs. Rowley, who was our current deputy head. Uh, she was the interim head of school for this period. And I think it's fair to say during this last five years, it's been a period of instability and a fair bit of staff turnover, which hasn't been great, but now we're moving towards a period of stability. So if we think about the present being the summer term, if you will, the last time we just had, what do we have? We had a new head teacher, a very grateful head teacher, may I add, a um, reintroduction of the school into the wider community, by which I mean, we are getting this school out into High Wycombe, into West Wycombe, and telling everyone that we are on the horizon. We are an amazing school. We are the school worth knowing. We had a really strong start to promotion and to developing the reputation. Word of mouth means a lot to parents, and thank you very much for your part in that and getting our name out there and telling parents that this school is on the up and up and we are going to and we are doing great things. Following everything that COVID affected, um, by which I mean every school in the county in the world basically came to a gr grinding halt, we saw the beginnings of momentum, which is moving forward with things, consistency in assessment, teaching and learning, events, extracurricular enhancement. We saw a lot of things start in the summer term, but the foolish thing would be to, to assume that schools can be fixed with a certain number of time. Basically, schools are based on momentum, good things happening over time consistently. The next thing is in capitals because it's something that every single person comments on when they walk around the school. It's the energy, not just from me, but from the pupils, the teachers, all the staff, the parents, the energy, it just is so amazing. It hits you when you walk into the school. Everyone here is so energetic and up to everything we are doing. And I, honestly, I'm loving it. The endless potential. I've never worked in a school before with this much potential, where we have this much freedom to do what we want to do and make it as good as we possibly can. The potential of this school is incredible. And I know it's a bit cheesy, but I do stand by this. We do really have the right team for the job. I couldn't pick a better bunch of people to do this journey with. The team we've got are so passionate, so flexible, so endlessly hardworking, and they always put the children first. The teachers and the staff here are second to none, we're very lucky. Uh, and we had the most amazing summer term. It was brilliant. We had a Viking day. We dressed up, we were Vikings for the whole day. We had a fairy tale day. Look at these guys, how much fun they had. We had a PCSO come in and talk about what it means to be a police officer. We had a wonderful sports day, which we're replicating with you in a few weeks time, for sports day too. That was the most amazing day. We're a litter pick. We're doing this in October. We're going to go to the Rye and we're going to clean up the Rye. Year six had their week of fun. That was so much fun. After everything they've been through, that was the most enriching, exciting week for them. So I've got my son here. Say hi, Otto. Hi. Okay. <laughs> He's promised to be quiet. We'll see. Um, <laughs> we had the bike ability. Year six is learning to, uh, to actually use a bicycle on the road. They cycled all the way to Stoke Show, I think it was, and back. We had a talent show featuring these gorgeous judges, the most amazing talent show, a showcase of everything that makes our children special. It was such a big hit. And I saw children thrive and excel in a way I'd never normally see them. Children who are usually quite quiet come forward and out of nowhere, sing, belt out this incredible song. And all of us were there in complete awe of their amazing talents. Uh, we did one can food drop, raised loads, loads of food for the food drop. 
Uh, we did a good job there. We'll do that again soon. We had the photography competition. We got on the box we pressed for the third or fourth time. And that was brilliant. Really enjoyed that. Miss St. Quark, can we do that again, please? Yes. Yeah, okay. It's, 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 a, yeah, it's, a, it's a thumbs up. We had a we started a reading revolution. That was great. Us were dressed up as wow words. That's not finished. There's more on that to come, but we really enjoyed the launch of the reading revolution. We went to Westwood and Park. That was really cool because we're really cool. We're really keen to extend our links to the local area. Such a great event. Oh, with the yoga and mindfulness morning. We love that. So much fun. So it was a really, really good term. But I'm now going to give you a whistle stop tour on everything you can expect this academic year. We've got a lot of time, but a lot to do. So here we go. Autumn one, we're going to push the fact that we have got a child centered experience, unrivaled support. I've never known a school have this much support per child. Honestly, the small class size means children are getting so much support and making so much progress is brilliant. Yeah. Okay, so I'm busy. We, we need to relaunch BOOST. BOOST stands for Brilliant Out of the Ordinary uh, School Trips and Events. This, this means everything above and beyond normal teaching and learning. We do a lot of this, but it's under the umbrella of BOOST. Hold on. We need to do baseline assessments this afternoon, find out where the children are at, what we need to help them with, where have they fallen down, where do we need to make progress. We are resetting our curriculum. We've got a really exciting bespoke curriculum model. Mrs. Rowley's worked really hard on. We're doing staff training on that. And we're resetting our curriculum. More on this to come. Doing a lot of work on math this half term. We are doing a lot of work on the reading revolution and guided reading this half term. We've got our safeguarding review next week to make sure that we are doing everything we possibly can to make this site as safe as it possibly can be. Safeguarding is obviously the most important thing for us. Uh, appraisal cycle for the teachers to make sure the teachers are getting everything they can out of their career here. Uh, feedback training for staff and parents and children is important so that we're getting the most of our marking. And something I'm really proud of here, the LSAs are trained to a really high level at this school, so they can deliver these incredible quality interventions, I'm not just winging it like we are, I am most of the time. They are trained to an extraordinary level. They're able to give these really high quality interventions. Okay, then. Autumn 2, parents' evening. Well, what's going well so far? What do we need to work on? We've got a school to school review in the autumn too. So within our trust, some of the, oh, sorry, stop. No, I know, darling, hold on. Sorry, my son's upset with the track. Uh, we've got our school to school review and we welcome the feedback. We've got a writing revolution, should be very exciting. Uh, we've got our development of the school improvement plan, which I'll share more with you at a later point. We are looking at how we are offering the best offer for the pupil premium and disadvantaged children in our school because they might not know this, but those families are receiving funding and we're receiving money for them. How are we giving them the best education experience? You might not know if Mrs. Carty is our in-house send co, really exciting. Uh, we are gonna have by Christmas, a school oven and kitchen area next to year five. This is a big game changer for us. Can't wait for this. We've got subject leaders. They're gonna have an impact in developing their subjects. So I, for example, I'm the computing lead and I've got some big leads for computer, big ideas computing this year. PTA events, you'll notice I've left it blank because PTA, I welcome your ideas. Do you want a bingo evening? Do you want a quiz club? Do you want a ham uh, hamper evening for example, parents? Do you want a disco? Wherever you want PTA, I'll absolutely support you. In terms of boost, we've got theme days, trips, themed weeks, Halloween, fireworks night, Christmas, lots to do, but we do need to make progress. At the end of the academic uh, term, how are the children doing? One more round of assessments. Where is the progress and what can we do for those not making progress? Going into the spring term, staff training, how are we performing against our school improvement plan? We've had that review in the autumn term. How have we adapt to what we're doing? A parent pupil child survey. What do you think about the school? I welcome the feedback. Ooh, hopefully it's kind. But how are we acting on the feedback from stakeholders? Now, at this point, we're heading towards the halfway point of the year. We need to be growing the school. So at this point, I need to be monitoring the interest in the school. Are we getting the numbers in for the next reception? We've got to push and focus on developing links and increasing numbers. That is obviously is the most important thing, growing our wonderful school. End of spring one, I want to meet with Mr. St. Croix and the teachers and make sure all of those who didn't make progress in the autumn term are getting extra provision and monitoring. The school allotment is a big thing for us. In the lower garden, the playground, each is going to be a school allotment. Each year group will have a, a little allotment space where we can grow things, 
And that's obviously will enhance our cooking and growing endlessly. Uh, staff meeting book look, make sure our books are looking good, a moderation, lots of events and a lot of work in the community. In spring two, again, to end the term assessment, how are we doing? We're reaching the end of the year now, are the children making progress? If not, why not? What are we doing to support those children? A parent's evening, what progress have they made? How can we work together with parents to make sure those children have made the progress and what can we do? Events, we welcome your ideas. What, what do you reckon we should do more of? To raise money, but also, we called it last week with the PTA, we called it fundraising. It's fundraising, but also fundraising, raising some fun. Um, STEM week, more appraisal, subject leader review and assessment in foundation subjects. We know that people are doing well in geography and history and art and DT, for example. Almost there now, we are going into summer one. We are smashing the sats, we're confident, we're ready. We know our children, we know our data. PGL is a special residential week for year six, looking forward to that. An activity week for the whole school. We've got our school allotment launching, very exciting. Our subject leaders at this point as computing lead, for example, I've made a measured impact on computing, making sure computing is developed and taught properly at this school. We've got this amazing embedded, excited curriculum. Sports week, and then we are heading towards our final half term, final big push for more children. Promotion, open mornings, link to stakeholders. Please come to our wonderful school. This is a school worth investing in. Summer two, we've got our phonics screening, our big old summer fate. We're going gonna to hit uh, go for a really, really big one this time. COVID at this point, fingers crossed, will be less of an issue. Academic reports out, our data review, sports day. We're reaching the end now of the academic year. How did we do this year? What is the West we can make? What is the impact? How did we do? We, can pre we complete our uh, appraisal. We get our children ready for a transition for next one. Who says men can't multitask? I'm literally playing whilst talking. And we then develop our school improvement plan. We've had our year, what worked, what didn't, our new school improvement plan going from strength to strength. So to conclude, the outcomes of this year, I need to see a TED teacher, improved data, really, really good outcomes for the children and good progress, an enhanced curriculum offer. Really, really important, enhanced interest in the school. I want us out there, I want parents knowing that this school is worth investing in. Otto. Whew. The staff have received uh, some good professional development and they, they feel like their career is moving in the right direction. This is the most important thing for me. Our children have had the best year, a year of learning, a year of growth, enjoyment and fulfillment. Momentum, really important in everything. Good schools are built on momentum. We are going forwards and we are stable. On which note, stability in all areas and confidence in the West Wickham way. Cool, that's a whistle stop tour, but that is going to be this year. I am going to make sure this happens. We'll see what happens. A few more things before I finish and pass over to the PTA. We've got a new behaviour policy you may have seen. Uh, it's in the classrooms right now. What's important about this is, is that all children start on, I'm having a good day. They can move down, and I'll get on to that in a second, but I want children to know they can move up as well for good behavior, for good work, good effort, good work ethic. They can go on to great and get five house points on a daily basis. Or they can go and see me for an awesome, and I've got lots of prizes to reward them with, because children need to know that their efforts are being rewarded and acknowledged. However, we have high expectations of behavior. here. If the children aren't pulling their way, if they're being a bit rude accidentally, or the work is the best, we might put them on a gentle warning. And it says there, consider your behavior and do the right thing. Then they might have to move down if the warning didn't take. Then we have yellow code, orange code, and purple code. Now, these are very effective, children get these. I don't like punishing children for the sake of it, but they need to know there's responsibility and accountability for their actions. So they, those codes are very well known with the children. And I might be calling you and say, oh no, your child unfortunately has overset the mark, perhaps been a bit rude. It's a yellow code, it's a shame. I don't think we'll be there. Behaviour at the school is really, really good. And systems like this continue that in a good way. Themed weeks, you may have seen on my Facebook post just now, every week from now to half term and beyond, is going to be a special themed week to make it really exciting. I want you to be so excited to come to school. Next week is coding club, for uh, coding week. Week after that is recycle week. We've got an African drumming week, a show and tell week, a superhero week and poetry week. To half term. So every week is something really, really exciting. Every day is a day of excitement and learning. 
Lovely. Last thing from me. Next steps, how can you help us? In a few weeks, we're going to relaunch the class rep. Please, can you join us? And then you can contribute some ideas and feedback to make our school better. Please come to all the events. Please be on Class Dojo. Things going on. Oh my gosh, read, read, read your children. Miss Senkwa will agree on this one. Reading is the most important thing you do at home with children. It improves them in so many ways. Reading, reading, reading. We're a very open school. I'm a very open head. Any issues you've got, big or small, please let us know. It's really important that we get this experience right. So please let us know. Help get the word out there. We are the school to know. Tell, the, tell everyone you know how amazing the school is. And please join the PTA. So without further notice, I'll pass over to the, the PTA they're doing this year and why you should join the PTA. Thank you for listening to my bit. PTA, are you good? In which case, the floor is yours. Can you hear us? You can hear us? No. Yeah. Can you hear yeah, yeah. Hello. Hi. I just want to apologise first because I really do not like Zoom and looking at myself on the screen. It's really off putting seeing my face. Um, just want to say hello to all the new pa uh, parents of the new children or foundation or the reception. Um, hello, this is. I'm Kelly, the current chair of the PTA, and this is Michelle, Michelle uh, treasurer. treasurer. Um, we just wanted to just tell you a little about what we do. Um, I've got some notes here, just so I don't lose track and start talking about the world. Um, due to COVID, obviously, we've been really quiet over the past year and a half. So we haven't actually done a lot, but we want to get things going again. We're going to start off with the sports day, which is the 23rd of September, two weeks, is it two weeks today? Or no, two weeks tomorrow. Um, we'll be there with some stalls and uniform stall, refreshments and whatever else we can possibly fit in. Um, we, we, we're pretty friendly. Well, I like to think we're, we're friendly. There's a few of us, but unfortunately, ma the majority of us will be leaving this year because our children aren't going to secondary school. So that's where we need, desperately need some more parents to come and join us. We're not, I know I've had comments in the past, like um, PTA, it's boring, Just takes out, who wants to do that? It's boring. It's really not, it's about, you can, just for your child, it's, supporting your child in their extra activities at school. It's about, like what Mr. Pang said, it's not all about fundraising, it's the fundraising. Um, we're, try we're just really trying to, the, the best for the children, really. We've bought some things in the past, with, but Michelle will go over in a minute. Um, the past events, we've had the Halloween discos, the, the Christmas stalls, sponsored bounces, Rep smiles. No, that's not the thing we can do. The fundraising events. Yeah, um, we've done quite a few, but obviously we need fresh ideas. We don't. Obviously, people might find what we've been doing boring. So, so we need. We really need your input. Um, our first meeting of the term of the year, sorry, is Friday at two p.m in the school, maybe, maybe in the school library, or it will be, we will tell you, what, yeah, it'll be somewhere in the school. Um, we'd love to see new faces, obviously. Um, yeah, so if, you're in, if you are interested in coming along, obviously come along for the meeting. If you can't make it, um, we've got our little email, you can email us, us la, 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 at West Wickham, it's www.schoolpta at gmail.com. Obviously, if you do want to come and join, we're not expecting you to come and just take over as chair. That's exactly what happened to me at my first meeting. I ended up becoming chair. I really don't know how that happened. And four years later, I'm still here. Um, so whatever, you don't need to take on a role. You don't need to, you, it's just literally, you can just come, just, just come for a chat and a little catch up. They're not always, we, we tend to have the meetings at two o'clock on a Friday. But not everybody can make day times because at work. So we do want to go and have like some, maybe we can meet in the pub, a few drinks in the evenings, like that. Yeah, just to like change it up a little bit. 
but yeah if you don't want to join and you've got some ideas just you can ask yeah just email or if, if you want to call me you can ask Mrs Roberts in the office I'm happy for people to have my number oh I'm sometimes at the gate but mostly I'm over in the car park but I'm waiting for Eli now because he doesn't want me to come and pick him up so he's sitting he's a bit embarrassed of having his mum there but yeah that that's about that's about it really sorry if I've just rambled and Yes, but I'm going to pass you over to Michelle now. She's just going to tell you a little bit about how much we've raised and what we've purchased over since 2018. Yes. But obviously we've had a little gap. Pre-COVID. Yeah. But oh, actually, sorry, before I do that, I just wanted to say also, <laughs> we are, our next big project is we're looking to get an oven for the kitchen and maybe the kitchen as well for the oven to go in that's our biggest project at the moment and obviously as Mr Tang has mentioned the allotments so that's going to be in the garden that nobody uses I don't know if anybody actually knows where it is because I didn't really know where it was either it's behind the blue playground that little area there that's where that's going to be so hopefully with your help we can do some fundraising for that fun, fun fundraising. So yeah, come along and meet us all. And I shall pass you to Michelle now. Thank you. Hi everyone. Um, like Kelly was saying, due to COVID, we've had problems not being able to do any fundraising ideas, raising fun, raising money, so many different things. But now we're now looking at a new fresh start, new year, fingers crossed, new people on the PTA. Um, so yeah, pretty much in the past, what we have purchased, which I'm sure the kids will appreciate, we've had new goalposts delivered, and um, we've had the iPads, which I'm sure the kids will really enjoy, the boxes that they're stored in, which are very safe, um, two new chairs in the library, which, yeah, I don't know how comfy they are, but I'm sure the kids will say they're very comfy. They're too big. Bucket chairs, just like these. <laughs> like, 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 Two very comfy chairs, from what I've heard. Um, pretty much, we've had, we managed to have people coming in from Rep Smiles, which some of the kids from the previous years might remember. Um, we've had been able to get end of year presents, which included the lollipops for all the kids and the staff, which I'm sure you all enjoyed. Um, yeah, end of year presents. We've had Christmas presents as well. We even had someone come in and pretend to be a Santa which I'm sure the kids enjoyed. Um, crackers. So we've had such great times over the last couple of years, well, before the couple of years. Um, yeah, so our next big project is, like Kelly says, about getting a school oven and a kitchen, which is for, which I'm sure the kids will all benefit from, um, especially when they're learning to do cooking food and stuff at school, and it saves the teachers as well. Um, and then obviously the allotment, but, they're the, big, they're the two big things that we're looking for. So plenty of fundraising ideas. We need plenty of fundraising um, treats, raising the money for it. And yes. also like the school trips and that, we'd like to be able to put towards school trips because yeah. it's always a quite a big thing for parents to pay out lots, but you know, yeah. like the fun things as well, the fun yeah. trips and yeah, stuff. The things The things that make a kid's education worth it. Work hard. You get fun times at the end of the year so yeah i think that's pretty much it but yeah if you're interested in joining come along to come along to the school on friday at two o'clock or if not email. email us yeah so yeah i think that's it okay. and yeah thank you for listening bye so a massive thank you to our pta i know mr tang looks like he's probably quite busy at the moment so i will like to let everyone know that we are going to now have our parent consultations. Um, if we will be able to have a lovely conversation with the parents, find out obviously what we're doing this year in autumn, and hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll learn something new, meet your new teachers, not in on my case, obviously, we'll be talking to my parents, having a little, little bit of a chat with them all. And best of luck to you all. And have a fantastic, fantastic autumn. What I would suggest also is with the PTA, we will get that email over to you guys with your class dojo number over as well on class dojo. The more people having the PTA, the better. This school is still going to be here when our year six, our year six parents go, and we would obviously need fresh blood. So the more parents we have in, the better. 
Um, I think the PTA is a great idea. I think it's great because I think even for instance, you're helping me out with some books, which is fantastic. We'll be able to order some books, which is the PTA, which is amazing. So it's not just about the fun, fun, fun stuff. It's also about the boring education stuff, which is really, really important as well. So the more we have, the better. So please, please, please get involved. Hopefully, we'll speak to you all very soon. I think on behalf of Mr. Tang, I'd like to say have a wonderful, wonderful August. Um, I just said autumn, so I'm in autumn. Have a lovely autumn, and I will speak to you all very, very soon. So enjoy your parent consultations, and we'll speak very soon. Thank you very much, guys.